In League of Legends, Quinn is a champion who can swap with Valor after casting her ultimate ability, both of which share the same abilities with different effects. On today's episode of LoLMath, we'll be taking a look at Quinn and Valor's abilities and the math behind them. Let's take a look at Quinn's abilities now. Quinn and Valor's passive ability, Harrier, will have Valor passively mark a target for 4.5 seconds even if he has not swapped with Quinn. This has a cooldown of 10 seconds. Valor will check for potential targets by prioritizing the champion Quinn attacked most recently, then the champion with the lowest health, then the minion with the lowest health. Once Quinn auto attacks the target, Harrier's cooldown will be reduced to 3 seconds, the mark will be consumed, and the target will be dealt physical damage equal to 15 plus Quinn's current level times 10 plus Quinn's bonus attack damage times 0.5. Harrier will also deal bonus physical damage equal to Quinn's level minus 14 times 5 if Quinn's level is greater than 14. Lightning Assault costs mana equal to 55 plus 5 times the ability's current level and has a cooldown equal to 12 minus the ability's current level. When activated as Quinn, Valor will travel in a straight line for up to 1,025 units. When Valor strikes an enemy, he will deal physical damage to them, equal to 30 plus the ability's current level times 40 plus Quinn's bonus attack damage times 0.65. He will then blind all nearby enemies for 1.5 seconds. If cast as Valor, he will deal the same amount of damage to all nearby enemies and still blind them for the same duration. However, he will not travel 1,025 units. Heightened Senses has a cooldown equal to 55 minus the ability's current level times 5. It will passively increase Quinn's attack speed for 3 seconds by 15% plus 5% times the ability's current level whenever she attacks a target marked with Harrier. It will passively increase Valor's attack speed by 30% plus the ability's current level times 10%. When activated as Quinn, Valor will grant vision around Quinn with a radius of 2100 units for 2 seconds. Vault costs 30 mana and has a cooldown equal to 13 minus the ability's current level. When activated as Quinn, she will dash to a target within 750 units and deal physical damage equal to 10 plus the ability's current level times 30 plus Quinn's bonus attack damage times 0.2. The target will then be slowed by 70% which will decay over 2 seconds. After the damage and slow have been applied, Quinn will leap 525 units away from the target. When activated as Valor, he will still dash up to 750 units and deal the same amount of damage, but will not leap away from the target. Finally, Quinn and Valor have different ultimate abilities. Quinn's ultimate ability, Tag Team, costs 100 mana and has a cooldown equal to 160 minus the ability's current level times 20. When cast, Quinn will be replaced with Valor for 20 seconds, who will have 400 less range, but 80% bonus movement speed. This will be reduced to 20% bonus movement speed while Valor is in combat. Valor's ultimate ability, Sky Strike, cannot be cast unless 4 seconds have passed from Quinn casting Tag Team. It will also automatically be activated 20 seconds after Tag Team was cast if Sky Strike was not cast already. When activated, Valor will be replaced by Quinn, who will deal physical damage to targets within 700 units of her. The physical damage will be equal to 75 plus the ability's current level times 55 plus Quinn's bonus attack damage times 0.5 multiplied by 2 minus the target's current health divided by their maximum health. Please note that the exact formula for bonus damage Quinn will deal based on the target's current health has not been 100% confirmed, but is almost certainly what was just stated. Overall, Quinn's high cooldowns and mechanics involving Valor will make her a difficult champion to play but could be very powerful due to her blind scouting potential and physical damage. Make sure to like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you'd like to be informed whenever I release new videos. Click the annotation on the screen if you'd like to see the previous LawMath episode. You can also like LawMath on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, and join the community on Reddit. Thanks for watching this episode of LawMath.